So we'll call this like a lot of help mini because I'm not doing a full episode. I just wanted to comment on something that is happening in my coaching business, which you can go to a lot of help.com and figure that out. Um, but I kind of want to come on and talk about it a little bit, maybe rant a little bit too, because I got something right here. Dang it. Uh, I ran about it too, because I was like, it's a common issue that comes up with new content creators. There, I, I, I did a Zoom today, and one of the people on there's a content, a new content creator, and she was frustrated. Um, she's saying a lot of things that I've heard before from other people too. And I do coaching, and I have a couple of people I do media stuff, and I've heard they get frustrated. They start, they start this to get frustrated. And I, you know, the title of this is Patience of Social Media. It could be Patience of YouTube, Patience of whatever. Those two words are hard for a lot of people. Patience and social media. Insert Patience YouTube, Patience TikTok, Patience Instagram, whatever it is. Naturally, everybody wants to come on and be a hit. Many will claim they understand this, but it takes time. But see, that's the I'm noticing it depends the time. If it doesn't happen at a certain time period, all bets are off. I'm quitting. That's it. I'm done. I know, whatever. So I always say several things. First of all, first of all, then why are you doing social media? Uh, or why are you doing YouTube? Are you doing something to you? What are your motives behind it? Are you looking for connection? So you like so there's people who do vlogs and stuff. Are you looking for connection? Are you a vlogger? And you're talking, we'll, we'll start right there. So if you are, I, I do some vlogs, not very much vlogging, but I do kind of some stuff. My thing is I'm always trying to share what I'm going through. And it may help other people, whether one person watches it or 200 or 500. Just I'm, I put it out there. Yeah, I feel good getting it out. Personally, I, whatever I get, I just get it out. I feel good. Um, and then I go, okay, whoever gets it, gets it. That's how I've always kind of been. Yes, I want numbers and stuff. And I'm a business, I'm a channel. So I'm always looking at numbers and things. But I'm like, yeah, so my shows get 10 views and some get a thousand. Uh, every show isn't just saying, isn't just saying. And so, but but my reason for doing that show or said show stays the same. I enjoy doing it. I have fun. Um, it's going to be something, you know, it's, it's part of my world, blah, blah. There are other folks who put out videos and stuff to get attention. So, okay, well, that's legitimate. You can do that, of course. But here's the thing. There are millions, probably billions of people online do the same thing. What do you have to offer, number one, that's ain't different than anybody else's? Sometimes you have something that's very different, right? Then sometimes, you know, it's about the same, but you have maybe a different twist to it. Not everything I do is original. I mean, there's 10,000 Mandalorian after shows. I like doing the show. I'm watching it anyway. I have my friends I talk about with it. I like it. It don't get a lot of views. I'm not going to my other work. But we enjoy doing it. I'm a Star Wars fan. The fans who tune in who like our show, we get four or five people live at night. I'll take it. But I also know that it'll, it could grow. And now when it comes to growth, it could happen tomorrow. It could happen in six months. It could happen in three years. That's where the patience comes in. I always tell people the fun part is when you're building. For me, it's like you can make mistakes. You can try. Work on all the kinks of your stuff. Get your stuff going. Work it all out. Have fun. Put out all this product. Because what happens is people, when, when if you do hit, a lot of times they'll go back and check out the other stuff. And see what's going on, on your channel. Your channel or, or the perception, at least your channel looks full. Okay. Or social media looks full. All these pictures. There are people who will go back. It's hard to get to everybody. It's a job. It is, you have to promote. That's just how that is. You have to promote on YouTube, you have to promote uh, whatever you have, you have to promote. You just you just do. Um, and that's have that's why you have social media managers and it's, it's a lot of work. Or both to do yourself, but again, I just, I just feel, I feel, I feel sad for some of the folks who are mad or get mad at themselves. I'm like, no, you should feel proud of yourself 
that you're putting yourself out there, that you're starting a channel, you're starting a uh, Instagram, you're starting, you, you, start, you want to start, you want to share stuff. I think it's wonderful. You should, you should feel good about it. You did it. There are folks who never do it, uh, but you're doing it. And so why, you know, that should be part of it. And if you only have five viewers or five subscribers for the first six, seven, eight, nine months, that happens. You're always you're always one video away from a hit. That someone's going to hit. You just never know. Um, and if you're doing it alone, you props to you because some of us have connections. So a lot of times we'll use those connections. Call my show, do a show with me. You know, maybe I'll help you bring some viewership. Um, you know, and, and I do have some. I with, with a lot of my folks. I'll do, I'll do a show on your channel. I'll do a show on your channel. Bring in the bring in the people. So I'm going over. Let's bring in the people. Let's do it. Um, and that's something. You know, let's promote it. I'll put. I'll be on the show. Let's do it. And maybe I'll help get people over there. It's okay to ask for help. Maybe you tell some people, can you share my page? You know, but if they don't, you can't get mad either. You can get well, you can get mad. I always get mad. People don't do certain things, but. You have to let that go too. Everybody's going to do what they want to do, and plus, you don't know people's going on people's lives. You just don't know. It's going. I know. I know that for a fact. Not everybody is open and shares their lives. Everybody, and a lot of people are going through their own online life crises and things too at the same time. So you just never, you just never know. But I just, I, I just, I just want to speak to the newer people who are starting to do this stuff. It can be fun. It can be a hoot and a holler and a great time. But it can also be work, and it's not easy. It's easy, and it's not easy. It's both. It's, it's both those things. You have to just leave. If you want to do it, do it because you want to have fun with it. You have one viewer, two viewers. We all want to start somewhere. I just I started from scratch. Start from scratch. Before this pandemic, I only had three hundred subscribers. And that was three years ago. Now almost four thousand. But that's because I put the work in. But before that, I was just like putting videos up here and there. It took time. You know, we, we you just you grow your audience, you engage them, you grow them. It's just it's you experiment, you try things, you never know what's gonna hit. You know, you just you stay true to yourself, and the audience will find you. I have friends who do audio dramas, and the first, you know, the first season didn't do as great as they hoped. I have shows that didn't do as great as they hoped, and then all of a sudden. A year later, oh my God! It's all of a sudden, everybody's found. They found it, and I my show the email was there. my show the email was kind of a hit out the gate a little bit, but it got bigger this year. And we're about we're about to do it last year, and we're about to do a season three. And so I guess getting it's like the other week, February Heights. I haven't put that new episode out since last year. Suddenly blew up for a week. You just you just there's so many choices out there. There's so many choices. Um, you have to like let that all go and just and try to have fun on your channel. Have fun. Start engaging, building. Just have fun. You know. But if it is too much for you, it's too anxiety producing, it was too just create, then don't do it. Don't do it at all. Because you're right, it should be something that you can take pride in and have fun with. If it's too much, it's too much. Don't do it. Then get out of it. Then you don't have the heart for it. But many of you guys have the heart for it. You just it's just hard at first. It's okay to vent every once in a while. And go okay, just pray. I was, even I still vent. I'm trying to get to the next level, and I got all these. Yeah, I got success. It just it happens. But I also understand that we are not in control. There are people going to try to sell you. You follow my method. You'll get all your ten thousand followers. Like it doesn't really happen. It happens sometimes, but not really. And everybody's different. It depends on your content. But just relax, have some fun, keep putting out content. You never know what's going to happen. You could have an 80 million plus video without viral video like I did. And that was an eight second video I did two years ago. <sighs> I didn't plan on. So anyway, I just want to say, because I'm rooting for all of you. I want everyone to make it. And make it whatever that means for them. I'm James Lott Jr., a lot of help.com. James Lott Jr. on all social media platforms. See you next time.